Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala asrofil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi washabihi ajmain. Amma ba'd. Uh, this will be the first day of the thesis defense that we are going to have today. The first contender it will be uh, Latifah Rahma. Latifah Rahma Ramadan, yeah. and then her thesis title here is developing individual writing skills, yeah. optimizing teacher's guide potential in writing for study purposes. Yeah. And then you read passer is uh, Miss Mutiarani, yeah. and then I'll be the uh, examiner for your thesis defense today. Yeah. And before we are going to start this thesis defense, let's recite Basmalah together. Yeah? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let's hope you can explain in a clear and comprehensive way yeah, your complete thesis here. I'll give you around 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes only to explain your first, second, third, fourth, and then fifth chapter of your thesis. And then after that one, after you've already explained your thesis, I'm going to give you the questions based on your uh, explanations. Okay, Latifa Rahma And then okay. I'm going to start uh, sharing the PowerPoint here. Okay, can you see it now? Yes. Okay, come on, time is yours. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, today I will presentation about my thesis defense. The Honorable Head of English Department, Mr. Sofian Hadi. And let me introduce myself. My name is Latifah Rahma Ramadan from AINQUEST uh, 2017. Uh, and my title is Developing Individual Writing Skill, Optimizing Teacher's Guide Potential in Writing for Study Purpose. So let's get started with the chapter one. Okay. Uh, for the table of content, uh, I got chapter one, why I conduct this research and background of the study, and then chapter two, from theory, chapter three method, chapter four result, and chapter five conclusion. Next, okay. First, why I conduct this research? Um, because learning about writing in Indonesia is still not effective, and there are still many students who are lacking in their writing skill. And there are many ways to make uh, students able to develop their writing skill. One uh, of uh, is from the teacher. How can the teacher improve the student writing skill with the teaching guide for use? Uh, from this research, I want to know what guidelines are used from some of several teachers in the school that I research and background of the study <clears throat> learning English in Indonesia can be used as an interesting and fun subject if the teacher can teach can teach according to the right learning step however the reality in learning English in the aspect of, of writing skill is very low uh, there are several problems faced by both students and those experienced uh, by teachers themselves in receiving and uh, de delivering material about writing. Uh, teachers still have not used methods or guidelines in learning. <coughs> students have minimal understanding of good and correct grammatical rules. And student, student ability are low in expressing idea through writing. And given the importance of writing for students, 
here uh, teaching is required to understand and develop an appropriate learning models or strategy to overcome this problem uh, so the learning objective can be achieved properly. Uh, next, chapter two. Okay, or writing. Um, writing is one of the four language skills that must be learned in order to acquire English. All components of language are involved in writing, including grammar, vocabulary, word order, spelling, and a logical organization of uh, ideas. According to Hutton, writing, writing skills are complex and sometimes difficult to teach, requiring mastery to uh, requiring mastery not only grammatical and theoretic but also of conceptual and judgmental element. Uh, writing also requires a teacher's guide which must be done in learning English as a facilitator, assistant, motivator, and only an assessor. The teacher must help students by organizing writing into stage. First, students must understand the importance of writing. Why should I write? What is the real purpose of writing? Uh, this is a common student complaint. The teacher must also create a realistic environment in the classroom. Uh, next, the teacher should encourage students to write with the main goal or theme in mind. They should also encourage children to use comment on their writing to improve their writing and to revise their work as easily, efficiently, and patiently as uh, necessary. Next, the teacher should encourage students to write with the main goal uh, or theme in mind. Uh, next, third, the fourth method. Uh, time and place of study. Uh, the research was conducted in PGRI 11, <coughs> PGRI 11 Vocational High School and Grafika Yayasan Lektur Lebak Bulus Vocational High School. Uh, for the method, I use the qualitative uh, descriptive qualitative and subject for the subject uh, I uh, from for this subject I use in the study were English teacher in grade 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 ten and grade eleven at PGRI sebelas Cilodo Vocational High School and uh, Grafika Yayasan Lektur vocational high school. Uh, the English teacher consists of five teacher, three from uh, PGR is vocational high school and and two for, from uh, Grafika Yayasan Lecture vocational high school. And then for the technique, uh, technique for collecting data, I use uh, interview and interview and observation. Next to technique for analyzing data. Uh, first, uh, I made observation to find information about commonly uh, used teacher's guide. And second, the uh, researcher interview several teachers to find out what guidelines are usually used in teaching writing. And then, uh, the researcher explained the result of the interview to get more information about the teacher guidelines commonly used in learning to write. Uh, the result of interview to find out more information about effective teacher guides in teaching writing. Also use a documentation to obtain more detailed information about this activity and uh, effective teacher's guide for teaching writing as complement. Next, sir. Okay. 
result result and discussion. So and uh, the result is all of teachers have their own teachers guide. Some teachers said that the guide has been effective, but they were also said uh, it was effective but not optimal. So the teachers need to combine the the other teachers guide. Okay, so uh, the purpose of uh, writing this thesis is to find out what guidelines are used by teacher in teaching English writing and to explain which guidance are effective in teaching English writing. Uh, but from the result of interview, uh, the, the teacher uh, guide used in teaching are very diverse. Some use textbook. Some use textbook that have been provided by government and then uh, use personal books, uh, Betty, Azar, Betty Azar books and uh, some use audio visual. But in uh, all of uh, one of these teacher uh, feel um, effective with the Betty Azar books for teaching writing and for teaching writing. Next. Next, sir. And then for conversation. Uh, <coughs> of many conclusion that have been summarized. The essence of this research is uh, writing skills are very important to be developed by students. Uh, writing skills can be developed in various ways. One of them, one of them is from the teacher itself. How do the teachers can uh, develop student writing skill uh, using the using their teacher's guide? Uh, and uh, many guides uh, used uh, from uh, teachers that I research, uh, main various various guides, and uh, from PGRI Sebelas Ciodut and SMA SMN Grafika Yayasan Lecture Vocational High School is still uh, many still left feel less effective, but there are some teachers who say that the guidelines used are effective but not optimal. And then uh, the four teacher at Peger Isabel should do uh, vocational high school and Grafika Yayasan Lecture Vocational High School still use, uh, still need to combine the guidelines for more effective. Okay. Next. And ah, thank you. <laughs> okay, that's all. Latifah Rama. Okay, thank you very much for your explanations. And then now I'm gonna uh, give you the questions based on all of the slides that you really explained. Uh, let's start with the first. Yeah, let's start with the first slide. Uh, starting with the first slide here, you are mentioning about the title. Your title here is Developing Individual Writing Skill, Optimizing Teacher's Guide Potential in Writing for Study Purposes. Uh, my first question, based on your research here, you're mentioning about optimizing teacher's guide potential. So what you call here by teacher's guide potential? Latifa, that will be the first question, please. What is it? Teacher's guide potential. You're mentioning about teacher's guide potential. And what is it? What do you mean by teacher's guide potential here? Okay. Uh, first, uh, 
from before the title that I conduct in this research, uh, I <laughs> come on. Okay, uh, teacher, teacher's bed is a uh, a way a way the teacher to achieve a better learning. And for the potential is from the teacher itself. Again, okay, and now try to combine it, please. My question it is teacher got potential. So it is not teacher's guide, so it is not teacher potential, but it is teacher's guide potential. What do you mean by teacher's guide potential? Uh, but, uh, teacher's guide potential is uh, away from the teacher, away from the teacher to get better learning from their uh from their from their potential <laughs> okay thank you you are not answering my questions what we mean by teachers guide potentials yeah it's mean the ability the skill of the teachers yeah when they deliver the content about writing skill for these students so what kind of the interactions yeah, what kind of the guidance uh, that the teacher is going to use so they can deliver a great or a good kind of writing teaching yeah, for these students. Okay, I guess that's enough for the first questions. Now let's go with the uh, second slide here. You are mentioning the table of content consists of uh, five chapters. Yeah, conducting this research, reasoning, the ground of the study, and then the theory, method, result, and discussion. Last one, conclusion and suggestion. Uh, the first, yeah, on your first chapter, you're mentioning the basic reasoning of conducting this research here based on your uh, curiosity based on your result of observations, based on the result of the interview of the teachers. Yeah? And then what are several also factors that are affecting you in conducting this research? Latifa. Okay. Uh, factor of I conduct this research because the many students in Indonesia are still less of uh, they're okay, I guess that's too common. Do you mind please try to make it more specific? Because your research here take location only on two or three schools, so be specific only on a certain scale and a certain school that you conducted this research for. If you are mentioning uh, since the writing skill of the student in Indonesia, so that's a major kind of research. Do you see my okay, point? Um, in the school that I research. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Uh, the students are still uh, lack of the writing skills, such as on the grammatical and then the vocabularies, like that. So uh, I should I. So I. Ask to the teacher about their teacher's guide for you for teaching English writing. That's all. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Let's go with your second <laughs> chapter. Okay. On your second chapter, when you try to put the theory, since it is a review related literature. Yeah, break your related literature here. So it is not only mentioning five things, not only mentioning also teacher's guide, and then you get to mention the relevance, the connections between writing, teacher's guide, and then also who will be the one you're going to conduct this research for. Okay, do you understand? So what is it that you missed from your break your related literature here? Latifa? 
Yes, sir. Okay, let me repeat it one more time. What is it that you missed from your second chapter? Review of related literature. Yet. You're only mentioning two uh, terms. Oh. Yeah, first writing, second one, teacher's guide. And what is it that you missed that you haven't put here for your second chapter? That I miss? Yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe from individual writing skills, sir. Okay, do not answer my question using maybe. So it means like you are not believing yourself in answering the question. That's enough for the second chapter. Now let's go with the third chapter. Time and place of the study, you're mentioning several schools, right? Okay, how many schools that you put in for your research here, Latifa? Uh, two schools. Okay, first it is Grafika, yes, and Grafika, and then second one, uh, Chiladuk School, what is it? Hmm? Yes, sir. Okay, so from the two schools that you take, as the uh, place of the research that you conducted, how did you going to make it balance between the first school and then second school? And then how did you mix uh, the balancing between two school so you can put your conclusion here, your finding, it will be referred to a comprehensive kind of finding. Come on, let me find. Why I chose this school? I'm not asking you why did you chose this school. My question, okay, you divided two schools here for your research, right? First school and then second school. Uh, from the two school, how did you can manage? How did you can balance the result from the first school and then also the result from the second school so you can have a proper a balancing kind of finding or result for your research and then also the conclusions? Come on. Uh, how can I combine? Yeah. Okay, next question. Your method of this study. What type of method that you use for this study, for this research, Latifa? Um, I use qualitative research method. Okay, so what is it your main uh, aim in using qualitative research. So what is it? This method here will help you to do what? What is it? Come on. Um, so for this qualitative research, I use the interview and observation for my uh, technical collecting data and then and then to and then and then I um Oh. That's all? Uh, because I use, uh, why I choose interview in my qualitative research. Okay, thank you. That's enough. <laughs> Latifa, let me ask you the questions. Uh, when are you going to join this thesis defense? Have you watched the previous thesis defense first? Yes, I, I, Yes, I watched the previous of, of your and YouTube. 
uh, but why it seems like you were not ready, you were not well prepared. Yeah, when I give you the question, it seems like you try to think really hard, and then you are not confident in giving the questions. Yeah. Okay, now let's go with your chapter, the result and discussion. So this will be the main point of your research. Okay, now let's try to read it here. <coughs> From the result and discussions consists of uh, five teachers. Yeah, uh, first year is Mrs. Siaya, second one Mr. Aji, yeah, and then the third one Mr. Hassan, the fourth one Mr. Fabry, and then last one Mr. Abdul. Based on this one, based on your research, the combination of the teacher here, yeah? maybe you can consult this one with your advisor. Yeah, so it will be. I guess two female teacher or three female teacher and then two uh, male teacher that will be appropriate. That will be a balanced kind of uh, teachers. Yeah. So it's not only one female teacher and then you chose here for male teacher. Yeah. So it seems like there's a, a gender gap on it. Okay. Okay, Latifa. Again, and uh, you result here, yeah, you're mentioning all of the teachers have their own teacher's guide. Some teachers said that the guides have been effective, but they were also said it was effective, but not optimal. So the teachers need to combine the other teacher's guide. Yeah? From this one, from your finding here, you should mention it. For example, from Miss Yaya, Mrs. Yaya here, you see a type of teacher's guide using A, B, C, D, for example. Yeah. And then Mr. Aji using the uh, teacher's guide A, B, C, D. Mr. Hassan and then also Mr. Abdul, it will be the same. And then on that one, you can conclude all of their teacher's guide on it. Yeah. So you're not mentioning only some teachers said that the guides have been effective. So which one the guide here? Yeah. So which one, which one the teacher's guide? You're not mentioning all of the teacher's guide here. Yeah. Result and discussion. So you're going to mention each of it, each of the teacher's uh, guide. And then also, what is it here that you mentioning? Which one is the effective and then which one is not optimal? Why did you mention the optimal kind of teacher's guide? Got it? Got it. Okay. And then conclusion and suggestion, I guess I'm not gonna uh, give you the command. I guess that's enough for your PowerPoint. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. And then now let's try to go back with your complete tasks. Yeah. Uh, Okay, I'll try to open the tasks first. Okay, can you see it now? Yes. Okay, let me make it bigger first. Okay. Okay, let's start with this one. Developing individual writing skill, optimizing teachers get potential in writing for study purposes. Uh, if I read from your titles and then if based on your explanations, the finding, yeah, uh, Latifa, it seems like you are focusing, you are focusing only on teachers' guide potentials, yeah, but you skip, yeah, you're missing here the writing skill thing, yeah, so the teacher's guide. So it should be relevant, it should be connected with the writing skill since that was the skill that he chose for this research. Okay? Okay. Uh, no, no, let's have a look at your abstract here. Okay. Wait a second. So, okay. Uh, from your abstract here, the purpose of this study was to find and explain the guideline use whether or not effective in uh, teaching student writing. Okay, so your main aim here, you are mentioning about guidelines. And then the term that you use here it is teacher's guide. It should be the same. It should be similar. Okay, Latifa, do you see my point? Yeah? Okay. Okay, so it's it should be T G. 
Yeah, it should be about the teacher's guide. Since that one that you use, yeah, that you use for the title, the teacher's guide. Okay. And the next one, the procedural is the is descriptive quality of research. Just teacher, okay, it is graphic or graphica. Yeah, and then begin. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna revise this one. And our teacher were two teachers from okay. Uh, as I mentioned, uh the suggestion for you consists of five teachers. So which one? If you want to choose uh two male teacher and then three female teacher, that will be okay. Or the other side. If you want to choose uh two male teacher and then three female teacher, that will be okay. Yeah, three male, two male, or three. Uh, female to male that will be good. So not only one female teacher and then the rest of them male teachers. There will be a gender gap yes. on it. On behalf. It's all yes, sir. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't really uh, worry about that one, but my suggestion for you, if you want to make a gender here will be balanced, will be equal, so you're going to make it like my suggestions. And then researcher use document observation and in interview to collect the data. So then the teachers got mine. Okay, you are mentioning here. Uh, so which one is the correct term? First, you are mentioning about the, the guideline on your first sentence. Second one, you're mentioning about teacher's guideline. And then on your title, you are mentioning about teacher guides or it is about teacher guidelines. Which one? Teacher's guide. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to use that one consistently in every single of your sentences. We're very diverse. Some use text to provide regular Some use, okay. So from your result here, you should put this one. Yeah. So the uh, teacher's guide that they use first, it is teacher provide the textbook for the students. Yeah, some use personal books, and then some use also audio visual. From all these three, so which one they use the teacher's guide using textbook, which one they use the personal book, and which one they also use the audio visual for the teacher's guide, okay? And the next one, the guideline. Okay, you are mentioning also the guidelines. Use by teacher and team monitor. Some teachers say that guidelines they use were effective, but there were also okay. So which one here? Since you have only five teachers, so I guess that will be really easy for you to see. Yeah, for example, if two teachers they're using teacher's guide here effectively, and then three teachers they're using the teacher's guide here non-effective. Okay, so you're gonna mention that one. And then next here, you're mentioning also uh, for teachers who use Betty Azar book in teaching writing. You said the book is very common. And then suddenly you are mentioning Betty Azar. So what is it? The relevant with teacher's guide. And then after that one, you're mentioning the book of Betty Azar. Yeah? So if you're gonna mention all the books, so each of the teachers, you can see of the book that they use. Yeah? Okay, I guess that will be the uh, that will be the uh, suggestion uh, for your abstract. Okay, and then now let's continue. Let's continue to to your first chapter. Uh, your first chapter. Okay. Okay, background of the study. Okay, we are not using Wikipedia in our reference. Wikipedia here is an open source that every single of you guys can replace that one, can edit the content of Wikipedia. So we are not using Wikipedia. Get it? Okay. So you have to revise this one and then, uh, okay, look at this one also. It seems like every single time that you make a quotation, yeah, that you quote from some expert, you're gonna put also every single year and then also the page of the reference that you use. Huh? 
And then, next one. Okay, for your first chapter, it seems you got to put more reference because uh, it seems like you have a poor kind of reference for the first chapter. You got to uh, at least five or six kind of reference that should be enough. Okay, so you have to add five or uh, four more reference. Yeah, the expert opinion yeah, that you can use to support all of the statement that you use here, the identification of the problem. Uh, the teacher still does not understand the guidelines needed to teach writing. Yeah, okay, look at this one, yeah. If you were mentioning, you're going to analyze our teacher guideline. So it's mean they already got the guideline, yeah. They already got the guiding, yeah. And then they already got the instruction. What is it that they use when they teach the students, yeah. So you have to revise this one. Yeah, number one, the teachers use the effective teacher's guide. Okay, and then identification of the problem. Okay, you can use this one, that's okay. And then for your limitation of the problem, since you are using only two schools, you're gonna mention the exact name of the two school that you use, Grafika, and then second one, Kiladuk school, that one. Yeah, and then next, uh, the objective of the study, to find out what guidelines to teach writing. Look at this one. Uh, you're mentioning the teacher still, still doesn't understand the guideline needed to teach writing. And then this one, you're mentioning to find out what guideline to teach writing. Can you see the opposite kind of uh, statement here? If the objective of your study here to find out what guidelines that used by the teacher, so it's mean the teacher really used the teacher's guide, but they are not using it effectively. Okay, so you're gonna revise this one. Significant also, you have to uh, wait a second. Uh, identification of the problem, the objective of the study. Okay. For the significance of the study, theoretical benefit. Okay, that's okay for your uh, first chapter. That's all the point that you gotta revise. Okay, Latifa. Okay, sir. Okay, next one. Okay, look, look at this one. I already uh, mentioned it many times. Yeah. Uh, for you guys, class of 2017, your guys' reference here it should be 2010 above. So why are you still using 1988, 1975, yeah? 2010 above. It means starting from 2011 till 2022, yeah? Okay? And then here you're using 1980 art, 1975. Yeah? So you have to revise all of your reference, I guess. Yeah. And then 2005, really? Now we are here on 2022. Can you ever imagine how long this uh, reference that you use? Yeah. Okay. So, okay. This one is okay. But it seems like Hodia. Can you find a name of a person from UK or from the US that name Hodia? Latifa. Okay, that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my point for you, second chapter, one more time. If you reference here consists of 2010 below, you have to revise all of it. Yeah, you gotta use all reprints from 2010 above. Okay, uh, now let's have a look at your method. Of... Okay, since this is a complete research, so this not will be carried, but this research already conducted. Yeah, do you see the uh, difference? Okay, Ladiva. And then method, okay, look at this one, 1988, 1982. Okay, you have to revise all of it. And then uh, we are using Creswell, and then you only put the year and then the page. Do not use it like this one, okay? And then this one also, 1994, you have to revise this one, revise this one also, yeah? 
Okay, 2006, 2008, yeah, 2004. It seems like you have an old kind of uh, reference. Yeah? You have to revise it, a total revision. Result in discussions. Look at this one, Nasution. Yeah, Nasution, can you name a person from Australia or from <laughs> that name? <laughs> Nasution, oh my God. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Okay, data analysis. Okay, so before you're going to do a data analysis, you have to mention also what is it your data finding. So not suddenly to data analysis, yeah? Your data finding first, and then after that one, you can put the data analysis on it, yeah? The data analysis uh, consists of the data re uh, reductions, yeah? And then all the details, okay? So you have to explain the first data finding and then after that one, the data analysis. Okay, Ladiba. Uh, okay, I guess you can consult all of this one with your advisor, yeah? About your finding or data analysis and then discussing of the result, research result, yeah? Question answer. Uh, okay, Latifa. Okay, now look at the conclusions. The conclusions, yeah, uh, it should be. Uh, okay, I guess for your conclusion, that should be okay. You don't have to revise it because you got many revision where first, second, third, and fourth chapter. <laughs> Suggestion that's okay. Okay, look at this one. From all of your reference, first reference, no, second reference, no, third reference, no, fourth, no, fifth, no, uh, sixth, no, this is yes, this one, yes. Okay, majority of your reference, it seems like not an update, yeah, not an up to date kind of reference. You have to revise it. Okay. And then let's have a look at the documentations of your research. So where is it? The picture or the video? So okay, this one. Okay. Okay, I guess that's enough. That will be enough, I guess, for your content passes, Lati Barama. And thank you very much yeah, for attending this thesis defense. Let's hope you're gonna revise it as soon as possible. And then I'm gonna give you a run a week only. So next week, it will be your last chance to revise all the revisions. Okay, Lati Barama. What is it? Yeah, what reason <laughs> be enough? Because if you already watched the previous thesis defense, I only gave them three days, three days to revise. And then <laughs> since you got many kind of revisions, so it will be one week. That will be a time, the duration for you to revise your uh, complete thesis. Okay, Ladiba. And then I guess that's enough. Let's uh, <laughs> close this thesis defense here by reciting. Alhamdulillah together, yeah. Alhamdulillah, alamin, yeah. And then do not leave this meeting because after this one we're going to talk, but up the record, yeah. And then uh, thank you very much one more time. And then the last, Allah maafikan hadirilah sabiul rasak. Sumasalamualaikum warahmatullah wabarakatuh.